Right, for this operation you're going to need a set of crocodile clip wires, a USB connector lead and a microcontroller board. Now the microcontroller board has got a positive and a negative on the top left hand side and then a positive and a negative on the top right hand side and those are connected together. It's also got four inputs and outputs A, B, C and D and D is also the driver that drives the sparkles and you can see there on the two sets of sparkles there's also a D marked as well. In this case we've got a push to make switch and also a buzzer with a positive and negative on the buzzer. There's a USB connector that connects directly to the computer to download the information. We've got a positive and a negative on the motor 1 and a positive and a negative on the motor 2 and then some small LEDs to let you know whether each of those motors is on or not. Make sure the crumble's plugged into a power source with a black lead and then you need to connect the download cable straight into the computer and into the crumble. Make sure it's the right way up. And once it's plugged in, then open up the crumble program on the computer. Drag across a program start and a motor. I'm going to change the motor 1 to motor 2. Once that's changed and you've pressed play, you should then see a small red light on the crumble microcontroller board. This tells me everything's working properly. Turn it off and you're ready to start wiring up your crumble microcontroller board to the sparkles. So I've got three leads this time. I've got a red and in this case I'm going to connect the red to the positive. It doesn't have to be red, black and green. It can be any colour at all. So red directly from the microcontroller board onto the positive of the sparkle. The black in this case is going to go from the microcontroller board onto the black of the sparkle and the green I'm going to connect to D because D is the one that drives the sparkles. Now my sparkle board's all ready to go. Everything's connected up correctly. So I'm going to drag across a program start and then after that I'm going to put on a do forever loop. That will allow my computer program to loop all the time. Bring across a sparkle and I'm going to change the sparkle from red through to green by simply clicking on the sparkle colour. I'm going to put a wait for a second and then after that I'm then going to turn the sparkle off again and then put a wait in again for a second after that. So this time the sparkle will simply flash on and off for a second until you turn the computer program off. Just press play and you'll see that the sparkle will switch on and switch off for a second. I've got a slightly different wiring configuration here. I've connected the negative to the buzzer and the positive to output A. So once again, drag a program start across and then pick up a do forever. Slot that in underneath the program start. And this time I'm going to use set output A high. I'm going to drag across a one second wait. I'm going to change this from one second to half a second, so 0 0.5. I can duplicate this now by simply clicking on the set and then right clicking duplicate and then I can change the high to low and now my circuit when you press play should switch on and switch off. 